cancer let us know the answer baby what is going on my loves it is scorpion reds tarot and i am back at it one time for the one time yes indeed to let you guys know what energies are surrounding you for the month of august 2019 shout out to everyone who has liked shared and subscribed and click this video at any point in time if you like share to subscribe shout out to every last one of you please know that i love you baby and i also want to give a shout out to um craft and conjure i want to give a shout out to miss d i want to give a shout out to my baby callie we got some new decks the mystic uh merdra uh what is this the yoga deck you guys this deck is amazing this deck has a lot of different yoga poses in there with an inspirational pose. This says the plow pose. It says, through my struggles, I see the world changing and reshaping itself to a form of my choosing. All right, you guys. So I guess that is your yoga pose and your inspirational message for the month of August. All right. Okay. All right. We reloading. This deck is amazing, you guys. You might want to um get this deck for your own personal self. I really love this deck. Um. This this is the show's journey deck. We also received that through the Amazon wish list. And what else did we get? We have the Game of Thrones playing card deck that we're going to be using today. And for all my magical, mystical unicorns, the baby pop puss for me. Pop puss for me. Pop pop puss for me. Pop 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 puss. Bitch, we got the goddamn. All right. We got that magical unicorn energy playing card deck y'all might have already seen that deck if you haven't just know you will be seeing it in the future so shout out to all my magical mystical unicorns thank you guys so much for all the love and so the support that you guys have been sending to my page if these videos resonate at any point in time if you guys want to send love light and support if you guys want to book a reading only thing you need to do is go on over to my about tab all right if you want to book a reading with me just click the um booking link which is scorpion red tarot as simply book me again scorpion red tarot as simply book me go ahead and select the type of reading that you want and then connect with me so you have two forms of uh communicating with me at the google hangouts um if you want to use google hangouts only thing you need is my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com or you can connect with me on instagram and you can send me a message on instagram so directly under the booking link you'll see my instagram link just click there or send me a message on google hangout directly after you book your reading and say hey res this is so and so i booked with you on this day at time make sure that you communicate with me right after you book your reading because especially if your reading is booked out a couple of days out make sure that you communicate with me the day of your booking because if I could fit you in I typically try to get you guys same day reading so always make sure that you send a message with me and check with me because if I could get it done the same day I will most definitely make sure that I can go ahead and bless you with that positive energy okay so um if there's anyone that does not want to get on camera for the video chat or if you want me to record the video chat because you want to have it to watch back for later there's an add-on in the menu okay it's called a video recap slash direct upload you can use that again if you want me to record your video session reading so you can have a copy of it forever forever and um, you can also use it if you don't want to get on camera now if you want to use that add-on for you not wanting to get on camera if you, what you need to do is just um, book with me then link up with me and when you link just send me your question pertaining to the reading that you booked okay send me your question make sure you only send the question um, and not tell me the information pertaining to why you're answering that question. I don't want to know the meat and potatoes of why you're asking a question because I really want to go into the energy bind and see what spirit has to say. So it could give you some, conf you know, some confirmation and some positive energy and we can touch base on the back end and you can let me know what resonated, what didn't, if we need to reach deeper than we can. So, um, again, if anyone, um, wants to send love and support to the page, my Amazon wish list and my PayPal is there. I'll make sure that I put my, um, what's that, the cash app too. Cause I think cash app is easier for you guys. You guys let me know if cash app is easier than PayPal. Cause I will, um, create a cash app and I'll put a cash app there. Um, cause I thank you guys so much for the support. Um, what was I about to say? So if anyone has any questions or concerns, again, thank you guys so much. And shout out to everyone who's been supporting. If I forgot your name, make sure that you, oh, and make sure if you send some support, um, make sure that you put your name in there so I can shout you guys out and, and things like that. So anyway, 
I was about to say, let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing this here for the sign of cancer. I'm seeing rings of light. I feel like there's been a lot of um, things that have been illuminated to you guys throughout this retrograde period. I feel like there's been a lot of illumination and a lot of completion of cycles. I believe we have come full circle in regards to completing certain phases in our life, Father God. Thank you so much for just being the amazing God that you are. Thank you so much for allowing us to heal and grow throughout this transition, Father God. I thank you for everything that you've been showing us. I thank you so much for allowing us to embrace vast maturity because one thing if we ain't doing nothing we are maturing to be better women and better men father god we thank you so much for this journey that we're going through because it's literally like a spiritual journey we're going through like our own deep soul journey right now like on a serious level like it's no joke it's no joke like we are tapping into our spirituality we are tapping into our healing we are learning our own divine feminine our own divine masculine energies especially for my male cancers like you guys are really starting to embrace and learn and enrich that male um the, the, that divine male energy so father god we thank you so much for all of these blessings please give us guidance for my sign of cancer for the month of august and thank you so much for pulling us through um and bringing blessings light love and positivity into our our life thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give us guidance for my cancers all right let's get it it'd be good for you to let it go yeah ain't none of your business playing in the back cancer said ain't none of your business who i'm with ain't none your business ain't none your business ain't none your business The Violet Angel, the breaking of dawn. I did tell y'all y'all was closing a damn chapter, a cycle in y'all damn life. Let me try to tell you something. This Violet right here is this crown chakra. I believe right now you guys are transforming and you understand why you had to go through the tower moments that you just experienced. I do feel like on a deep level that Cancer experienced some damn tower moments, especially, you know, that um, moon phase of Cancer and just all of that stuff like that. It brought a lot of emotions to the surface. It brought a lot of things to the surface that needed to be re revealed to us. And not only that, like we had to... We got to feel our emotions. You know what I'm saying? You can't just keep everything bottled in and just act like things are not happening and things are not going on and just, no. You know what I'm saying? So, we had a breaking of the dawn moment. Let's read this card real quick, okay? 23. Okay, let's see. The breaking of dawn. This means, this means... With fresh hope after a difficult time, something new breaks through and shows evidence of its approach. And with it, your new reality. You have good reason to feel optimistic and cheerful. Like something has changed on a permanent basis. Like you are on the verge of a new day in the name of Jesus. Hold on. Can we just come on, Father God? Listen, Father God. Can we just take a moment and say thank you? Like, thank you you father god like i'm serious from the bottom of my heart for cancer i am saying thank you and the cancers are saying thank you father god for this moment i'm serious okay let me finish it says you are on the verge of a new day and it is in these delicate and faint beginnings that something strong and bright will come do not wish it to hurry up to the brightest part of the day enjoy this tender new birth of time which you have long hoped for gratitude and awakenings early risings and trying new things are all on the agenda when this uh beautiful violet angel of spiritual new awakenings flies into your life 
All right. This beautiful angel appears when something new is on the horizon. She is the color of dawn and she waits for you to become aware of these wonderful possibilities. When she appears, it's a sign that many wonderful co coincidences, events, friendships and changes that you have been longing for are about to arrive at last. She wishes to arise to arouse you so that you will be ready to take full advantage of all the new blessings that are soon coming. Wake up and ready yourself, okay? It's time to wake up and ready yourself. New blessings, new beginnings are coming to you, Cancer. Come on now. Come on. Ooh. Let me be dropping my crystals now. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me secure my crystals down, okay? And I just fell off of Yemen, y'all. You know, that is the mother of the ocean. That's the mother of the sea. That is the mother of earth. All right? So it looks like we are, you know, as water signs, as water signs, we are learning how to navigate these emotional seas. Even when there are torrential storms around us, we are in our nature, the king of coins, all right? So this is, listen, my cancer, my man, we getting our money together. Hold on. What you doing? What you doing? Don't ruin yourself. Don't ruin yourself, okay? Cancer is focused on their health. They're focused on their environment. They're focused on their pentacle, all right? They're focused on their family. The king of coins is a family man. He's focused on his kids. He's focused on his home foundation. Looks like the page of coins is in the reverse. I feel like that might have been some bad news that came in. Like, maybe you guys might have went out for a job opportunity or something and you guys didn't get it. Y'all tired of waiting. Y'all are tired of waiting for things to turn around. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you've been going through, like, a bad luck season like it's just been a bad luck season you don't know if you just been receiving some bad karma for some shit that you did for some seeds that you had planted back in the day that you you know was some fucked up shit and you don't know like why all this like bullshit like I really do feel like I'm um, especially in finances and things like that I just feel like you guys are impatiently waiting for change to come in regards to your finances I feel like you guys are looking for a new job you guys are looking for new opportunities in life you're looking for the things that you are planning to grow like I said um, the king of coins he enjoys animals he enjoys nature like he's a cook like this man is a chef do you understand? I mean well cook Ooh, bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can this man cook his ass off, baby? Bitch. This man will cook you something you'll never leave him. I swear for... Oh, my gosh. This man is a hard worker, too. This man work his ass off. Sexy. Sexy ass. Ooh. A nice ass body. Nice little body on him. Yes, indeed. He's just been having a bad luck time. I feel like he's been having a like ba balance and juggle with two different things in life. Like he's been having to separate his time between two different entities, like his home life and his work life, or his home life and his in his relationships. Is something where he's oh, uh, what is this? The emperor in reverse. Yeah. This person is trying to find some type of balance in regards to their karmic debts. I feel like they're most definitely, I just heard karmic debts. Yeah, the three of spears and the king of swords. Oh, karmic debts. Yeah, there's a third party situation going on here. Like I said, this person is torn in two. This person is having to devote his time over here and over here. You know what I'm saying? And it says Atlanta still always pays his debts. So at the end of the day, this person created this obligation in two different households. And they're going to have to keep up to their obligation. And I feel like this person is going to make sure that they take care of their family obligations in their home. But I just feel like there's just not enough money to go around. And this person just got like some bad news that they didn't get accepted for this job offer or they didn't get a raise or 
something you know what i'm saying and they're having to go back and replan things all over you know what i'm saying like they didn't get a full harvest on whatever the hell they planted whatever it was that they were expecting and that they've been waiting on it didn't turn out the way that they expected so now they having to go all the way back to the drawing board and they feel like they they might have invested their time and their attention in regards to something for nothing it just all turned bad and like i feel like this person feels like they're experiencing like some bad karma for some reason like they're having to suffer for some bad karmic debts you know and right now their pockets are being split in two i feel like so much of their money is going this way and going this way they don't even have enough money for themselves i feel like it's not enough money to spread around and this person is being down on herself because they pride yourself on being able to take care and being able to provide for their family and their households. Like, that's very important to them. And this man is not able to do that. This man is not able to protect his family. This man is not able to split himself in because he's doing this between two different households. If it wasn't two different households, he would be, if he would just focus on his energy on one household, then it would. He would be able to be a complete emperor, but it's something like he is waiting for his ships to come in. He's waiting for his ships to come in, and he realizing that it's some things that he's going to have to leave behind. Do you understand? It's a third-party situation, so if he wants to go forward, and if he wants support, and if he wants things in his life to move the way that he wants it to move, like clearly with this, what is this, this King of Swords? It's going to be judgment day for somebody and, it's, it's, and he might be cold and he might be calculating and it might be a little vicious, but um, I definitely see that someone is moving out of a home. It's a situation where something didn't grow right. Something didn't amount to what they thought it was. They felt like it was bad luck. They just experienced nothing but bad luck. Like luck hasn't been their favorite. They're not able to be the man that they want to be. They're having to split themselves amongst two different environments. And it's just like, I might as well just move on and cut this situation out. Let's get some guidance. Give me guidance here on this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And this the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Coins, and the Seven of Coins in reverse. the Lannisters always pays his debts and he's trying to yeah it's a third party relationship it's a situation where he's trying to work things out between two different two different people it's like three people having to work together and come to a solution and having to work together and he don't know how to get these motherfuckers to work together I told you I told you it was a third party situation it's gonna be something at work and it's and it's gonna also be work but it's the ace of was it the ace of spades? Yeah, this is a death card. This is a death card. This person is ending one of these. After this person is working. But it can't be two jobs. I'm telling you why it can't be two jobs. Because if it, this person had two different jobs. You understand what I'm saying? Two or three jobs. This person would have enough money. And this person would not feel like they were inadequate in their home. This person is being made to feel, or this person feels like they're inadequate in their home, and they're leaving. There's a third party that's in this situation, so, and they're leaving something. Something is being shot down. The dragon, the beast is being, this person is slaying the dragon. I told you that this person is moving. This person is moving on. This person is moving on and cutting things out and being cold and icy cold about it this person knows exactly what they want this person knows what is this yeah the jack of clubs okay it's a very hard working man this is a man that but this person is shooting at the jack of clubs this this person is shooting it's ending things. You see how this person is shooting at the jack of clubs. You see? I said it's a third party situation. And this person is ending things because it's a third party situation. Because it is jack of clubs. So this person.
What's this? Give me some more guidance. This person, a jack of clubs is a younger person. It's someone who's a hard worker, someone who's very dedicated, someone that is like um like a service worker or something. Like this person might be a janitor or like this per whatever type of work. Like this person could work for ADT, this person could work for Comcast, this person works for someplace where it's like their business uh uh is in their rank and in their job is on their uniform. Like this person wears some type of uniform. And then the three of cups, like, okay. Okay, and then what is this right here? The six of clubs, okay, yeah. Like, this is, this is something, this is something, why am I putting this bag? Okay, so. Something, Someone is getting bad news. I feel like there was a competition in either love or in business. It's either in love or in business. Either this person was going after a job, you know what I'm saying? And they were told, well, we'll give you this position, but you have to share the responsibility with someone else. And this motherfucker was like, um, I'm not sharing no fucking responsibility with nobody else. Who the fuck you want me to share it with? this jack of clubs this person is like are you fucking kidding me like this person is like what fucking six seven years younger than me like how the hell you you put me on the same level of this person are you fucking kidding me and this part and they're like listen we gonna have to negotiate we're gonna have to find a way where everyone could benefit from the luxury of the situation. If you want this to work, you're gonna to have to accept this third person. And as far as to say, you know what, how about I just completely just like work my way out of the situation? How about I quit, okay? Like why don't I just dissolve my involvement with you guys all together? I already told you from the beginning I wasn't working with this motherfucker, now didn't I? I did, I made myself clear. I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. This person is leaving. This person is leaving. Like, I'm not sharing fucking responsibility. Like, you want me and this per No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I might be down for a little bit, but I ain't out. Because I would definitely move the fuck on. And I would stop dealing with this whole situation altogether. And I would give myself a new chance to something better. Don't even do me. Because that's exactly what this means. This is the death card, honey. This person is like, oh, you got me fucked up. I'm not, I don't do with third-party situations. Let's verify this. Let's verify this, you guys. Because I'm trying to tell you that cancer said, oh, no. Who? Who is it? Who? Who you want me to work with? I don't, I don't, I don't need no counsel. I don't need no help to do my job. Like, what are you trying to say? I need somebody to help me to do my job. I need you. Like, I don't satisfy. Or if this is a third party situation, I don't satisfy you enough. Like, you got somebody else on the side. You got me fucked up. The third, <laughs> the three of clubs represents practical developments in business or social matters, expanding opportunities, growth and advancement, the use of common sense and good judgment, a development, a development in business or enterprise or three-way business deal or partnership, business collaboration of three or more people, a clover leaf, good luck, fortunate circumstances, something growing in plants, hair, nails, Increase understanding or expanding of one knowledge based on learning new things. It could represent both formal and self-training, okay? The Ace of Spades. Like I told y'all, this person wants you to... fuck is you talking about anyway um what was i saying it says traditionally the ace of spades means the death card but really a physical death death and rebirth and endings and new beginnings transformation a major life change to scald the mind an important decision that brings change worry and anxiety all right you guys might <laughs> you guys might just like fucking quit because you just like not my fucking quit you are like quitting I like the death card i'm not like i quit like no 
not fucking sharing no responsibility with nobody. The fuck you mean? It says hard work. The Jack of Clubs is a hard working, honest, sincere young person. He's a busy, active person, most often a male. He's clever, enterprising. He enjoys sports and may participate in school or community football or baseball or soccer. He can represent an employee, might often denote an acquaintance from work. He can be a close or business friend. Uh, might be useful to the inquirer in some way. He may wear his uniform that symbol symbolizes his work rank on his clothing. So, I feel like if this is a love situation, someone might have found out that someone might have a work wife or work husband. And someone might be cheating on them with some a younger person from their job. And this person that they're dealing with, that they're finding out this information from, like I said, they're trying to negotiate and trying to work things out and trying to figure out how they can, you know, like a small sum of money, a payment, financial growth, partial success, partial effort, a part-time work, scatter energy on and off again. Hmm. On and off again. Perseverance is needed. If you want success, lack of focus or a lack of commitment in a relationship. In relation um, readings, it shows fickleness and changeability. I told you guys. And I told you. I told you. So if this is a relationship reading, if this is you guys, if this is not work, like I said, you guys might be walking away from a job because you're not about to share this responsibility you're not about to share this responsibility. You feel like you can do this by yourself. You don't need no motherfucker helping. You're almost offended that these people are trying to insinuate that you need somebody to help you do your fucking job. You understand what I'm saying? Or that you you need additional training or something. It's like, what? The fuck is you talking about? You understand what I'm saying? This six of clubs i told you a card of movement progress completion in business or social matter y'all completing this cycle y'all are quitting i told y'all y'all are quitting an opportunity to resolve problems take a responsibility for a problem or a situation and doing whatever is necessary to ensure success communication sharing one's thoughts and ideas negotiation banter talk or other forms of communication including body gestures body language the media written word good counsel trusted advice knowledge reading studying and learning you learn from this situation you learn from this situation give me guidance in regards to how this person um feels this three three is fears feeling like they gotta leave everything behind walk away they feel like they ship has sailed Oh, the nine of spades, shit. So, like I told you, completion of cycles. Like, this person feels betrayed. They feel backstabbed. This person feels let down. You know what I'm saying? They have to close this cycle in order to, you know, start anew. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my gracious. The nine of spades, traditionally a card of sadness, adversity, failure, suffering, emotional and physical pain, grief, malice is a very unfavorable card for bodies, tragic events, including accidents, serious injury, serious illness, or self-injury, okay, and harm to oneself or another. Gosh, it says the feeling pressure or forced to do something. It can indicate a loss of control, a breakdown, and of established patterns. It could represent disappointment or broken heart, karmic debts, obligations and duties to self another now I want to tell you one thing I want to tell you one thing now I feel like this person is having to walk away from something where they feel like I said the emperor in reverse they feel like a failure please do not ever allow yourself to get that down where you would feel like you want to harm yourself like please if you need help um Please reach out to like a suicide prevention line or something like that. And when I hear stuff like that, I can't just like ignore it. Do you understand what I'm saying? We have to take stuff like that seriously. Look, the five of clubs, you're just going to have to change the way you deal with people. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to have to change 
the way you deal with people and your social standings with motherfuckers. Like you said, you just gonna have to cut motherfuckers out. The shit just gonna be cold. You're gonna regret it. And I really do feel like that there might have been a lot of physical violence. If this was a relationship, there was a lot of physical violence. It was a lot of physical violence. And I feel like from a man's point of view, I feel like this man might have been being abused. And I feel like that's where that nine of spades come from. Like there was a lot of physical abuse and there was a lot of fighting and this man suffered from that this man suffered from that from this divine i mean from the oh no this is the no yeah this man suffered from this this is the six of hearts this man suffered this abuse do you understand what i'm saying from some woman they were in an extremely abusive relationship and they're going to change the way that they're dealing with this person because they're going to cut this person out cold and this person is focusing on their life be focusing their life on love like a new career a new like like this person is starting over like i said it's a lot of change right here with these two fives it's five it's 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 going to be a change in their work environment the way that they work in the way that they communicate with people how they invest in their time because i really do feel like a lot of people have devalued their self in cancer's life they devalue their self you understand what i'm saying let's get into this so let's see let's clarify let's clarify was it the five of clubs that i read that five of clubs e five of club is a card of action like i said they're cutting this person out it's the, they're cutting this person out it's a call to action a change a change of work situation a change in social standing it symbolized the five fingers of the hand okay <laughs> like i said i really do feel like that there was a lot of physical violence in this relationship it can represent working with one's hands it can represent making something it could also denote exercise physical later labor providing the extra Effort and the energy to get the job done, action, physical activity, the need for physical exercise, competition, a sporting event, a job interview, good luck. So, you know, I feel like you just, there was a lot of competition here. Clearly, there was a third party situation, and that's why cancer is leaving. They're not dealing with any competition. They understand breaking the dawn. This shit was fucked up. I went through a lot of sorrow, I went through a lot of pain, but I got brand new chances and brand new advances in my life. I'm just going to have to walk away from this shit. It's just walking away with your head held up. I don't like that emperor in reverse. I don't like that, baby. I don't like that. I want you, you're a king. You are an emperor and you are a good man. Just because right now, I feel like financially, you know, things are just not the way that you want it to be. But... Okay, the six of hearts represents a love, a French, a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry, courage, faith, trust, compassion, emotional compassion, past life or soul connection, masculine energy, a male lover. It could be a brother, a son, a bachelor, or unmarried man. Anything genuinely associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. So, like I said. This person is focusing on, might be focusing on a past life, you know, soul connection that they experienced before. This person is focusing on, like, friendships, emotional security, like, their faith, and trusting that, like, change will happen. They just got to change how they deal with people. They got to change. They just got to change, you know what I'm saying? All of this happened for a reason. The five of diamonds represent karmic patterns. I told you that this was like a karmic debt situation. Cause and effect, magnetic attraction, the law of attraction, thoughts that create experiences, charisma, animal magnetism, sexuality, personal space, local area, the home environment, furniture, a large personal possession, property, a uh, speech, the act of speaking, an argument, a legal judge or a court case, city life. Um, yeah, so like I told you guys, like this was like some level of like karmic debt. 
You know what I'm saying? If right now you guys are needing your personal space and you guys are moving, you guys may be moving whatever furniture it was that y'all had in there. It looks like y'all going to be moving all of that shit through. You're not letting them keep whatever it was. They're not, you're not walking away and they're not keeping whatever it was that you bought. You listen, your favorite chair or whatever it is, they're not keeping that shit. You better know that shit. Whatever you bought in that house, you're taking that shit with you. You're taking it with you. Give me the tea. Give me the tea in regards to this break in the dawn. What's going on this August for my cancers? What's going on? The grave. I told you a death. They're ending the situation. I'm trying to tell you they're taking authority. This number eight represents authority. And the nine, listen, the nine of diamonds represent they're ending that shit because they feel like they're successful on their own. They can accomplish things on their own. They feel they just feel better by their fucking self. You know what I'm saying? Anchor. You understand? Like I feel like this has to do with work. This has a lot to do with their work and foundation. Like they're trying to anchor in some security. Yeah. And they're trying to like literally take that shit by force. It's just like I'm trying to assert myself. I got to be strong. I got to end this shit and work on stabilizing my security. I got to be strong. Like this cancer is trying to find the strength to muster up the energy to seriously sever this tie and end this shit and anchor in security on their own. Do you, you like anchoring in like, okay, with this lady. Woo! Both ladies. They got one light skin, one dark skin. Let's get some tea about these ladies. Let's get some tea about these ladies, y'all. Let's get some tizzy. It's the last reading for the day, so shit. Might as well go ahead and get some extra, extra read all about it. Tea. Let's get the kipper. Don't skip her. Get the kipper. Don't skip her because, no, this is the tea. We got one red bone and we got one chocolate vixen. Let's find out what is going on with this cancer this cancer got two different ladies give me guidance in regards to this red bone okay let me got us to the red bone oh they're they're leaving they're leaving okay and they're taking a journey because they received a message of concern but this looks like this person, is this person leaving or are they coming to this person? I want, I'm, I'm hearing that this person is journeying. I want to say that this person, let's see. Then the courtship card was at the bottom. And I just did that. They're journeying to this person. And this child and the lovers and a mature woman. Give me guidance about this other lady. Give me guidance about the chocolate diva imprisonment. Thief. Concerns. The false person. Wow. Occupation. Oh, okay. All right. So let's start over here. All right. So this woman here is clearly the one that this cancer feels like is the mature woman. This is the mature woman. This is the false person. All right. So. In regards to the red bone. Okay. In regards to the red bone. This person is journeying 
to this person. I want to say, because remember, there was some cheating here. There was some cheating here. There was some cheating here. And remember, they said that they are traveling and they're trying to make a past life love connection. This is a travel, a journey card. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where they're traveling, they're making a journey towards this this red bone person, this light skin or this Caucasian lady. This woman may receive a message of concern, a message of concern in regards to a courtship, a courtship that resulted in a child, okay? Someone that was their lover, all right? But they're needing, it seems like, a mature woman. Looks like they need a mature woman here. Let's get some guidance on top of this just to make sure. Because they're journeying. It's a message of concern in regards to a courtship that resulted in a child. This was someone that they were lovers with. And they're telling this to this mature woman. Yes. Excuse me. My bad. Cancer readings always go extra. Alright, y'all, y'all should always be having a tea in it. Alright. So there was some cheating here. All surrounding this man here. And this man is leaving. Alright. And it said here, and I said it had something to do with something at work. Give me guidance in regards to the journey, the message of concern, the lovers, the child, the courtship, and the mature woman. Clarify this. The Ace of Cups. This person really loves this one. I feel like, yeah. This, this connection got broken because this person was cheating on the person that they really loved. With someone at their job. Mm -hmm. This person walked away from this woman. And now they want to journey back home. And there might be a message concern in regards to this courtship. Because it resulted in a child. But this person genuinely loves this mature woman. This situation at this job required, it, it turned it into an unrequited love. And I feel like for whatever reason, because there's a child involved, they still have to deal and have to work with this person. But their love overflows for this woman. And I really do feel like they're trying to journey back home because they wish that they never left this person. And you see how this statue... It's like it's a fixed energy that they're forever going to have to financially provide for this baby to this other woman it looks like here. But they're walking away from this shit. They're walking away and they're trying to anchor in some security here. They're trying to anchor in some security but it looks like all of their money is going to like permanently be going to this other lover here to this unrequited lover because they have a child by this person so in regards to the chocolate vixen here this cancer in regards to this chocolate vixen here this cancer feels imprisoned by this person it felt like they were in prison they were in prison this person was a thief and they feel like this person has stole their money. And quite frankly, it looks like they stole cancer from this one. This one was the thief. Okay? This person had them locked up. Wouldn't allow them to get, the, get away. And they know that this woman is concerned. You know what I'm saying? And they're concerned about this woman. Because 
not only was she the false person and they should have never got involved with them this woman had somebody else on the side too as you can see this person is leaving this cancer male is leaving because this woman was cheating on him with someone from her job this person has someone else in the background okay this and in the occupation card I told you this person had someone had a false person at their job and the cancer is concerned about this person do you understand this cancer feel like this false person stole a lot of their time and they felt manipulated and tricked by them and you see that baby they feel tricked by them with this baby They feel like they're in prison and they have to deal with this woman because of this child. They have concerns. I really do feel like they have some concerns here about this woman sneaking around with this other person at their job. Give me guidance in regards to this false person and this occupation and this concern and this thief card. They felt tricked. They felt manipulated. Like, do you see like how you see how the woman is trying to get his attention all the while the child is stealing his time. He's stealing his money and stealing shit from him. It's like this woman tried to distract him and all the while this child is stealing everything from him. That's it's, This man feels imprisoned by this child. Yeah, this man feels imprisoned by this child. But he, he has co concerns because he feels like there's a false person at work. That's where it is. There's a false person at work. Ooh, that's what it is. Give me guidance. Give me guidance into the chocolate diva, the chocolate vixen, okay? The imprisonment card, the thief, the concerns, the false person at the occupation. Give me guidance. Clarify the chocolate vixen, imprisonment, thief, concerns, false person. Oh, okay, so can't say it's blocked communication with this person. I mean, completely block the fuck out of this person. They don't speak anymore. They have, like, I'm trying to tell you, I told you that there was a lot of physical fights. Like, this woman is abusive to him. And they have to fight every day. Like, they fight every fucking day. They fight every day. A tower moment came and just, like, tore this whole foundation down. Like, something happened that completely like I don't think that cancer seen that shit coming but with it like this whole house this whole home everything this whole relationship has been destroyed and like cancer's been was able to skip away was able to skip away and as you can see the Lannister always pays his debts, but it's just like this fucking baby. I feel like this person was... Something happened. Cancer found out something. What did Cancer find out? Clarify the Terra card. I mean, this, um, this Tower card. What happened that allowed this Cancer to get away? What destroyed this environment? I mean, we. I mean, it's the third party, but... It's like, I don't know, I'm just nosy. Because I'm just like, God damn. Give me guidance. Clarify the, the tower and the two of coins. He's still juggling. He's still got to juggle and deal with this person, though. And that's why I feel like he is, is giving her that message of concern and letting her know about this child. Because it's like, I still got to deal with this person. I still got to deal with this person. Okay. So, let's see. So, for my cancers, we got the Ace of Wands right here. Okay. So, this cancer thought that they had a new beginning. They thought that they would be able to, like, be a chameleon and change and be 
a different person in this situation. I feel like this relationship started fast, you know, it started fast. I feel like for whatever reason, they just weren't fulfilled. They weren't able to get the emotional and the recognition that they wanted. I feel like the passion ran dry like real fast like i feel like everything happened real fast but it burnt out really fast and they just weren't fulfilled it wasn't enough attention like i feel like this cancer wasn't getting enough attention or somebody wasn't getting enough attention they weren't getting the attention that they deserved do you understand what i'm saying and i feel like there might have been some type of there's some type of there was some there was something going on where the cancel didn't feel strong enough to just walk away. They weren't able to see things clearly. I feel like they were confused. I feel like tuh, I don't want to say that, but like no, I just I got to say it because I just heard this shit. Like I feel like cancer um not that they were drugged but you see like that high priestess is being illuminated right there i really do feel like like there was something that was kind of done to cancer where they weren't able to like demonstrate their strength and just walk away i feel like the high priestess in that cup right there knows something because i feel like Cancer had a lot of other options where they can just like skip off or something like that. But for some reason, like this cancer was not able to just walk away, even though that they were not getting the attention that they wanted here. This high priestess knows something because this. OK, pay attention. This high priestess knows something because the cancer thought that they selected the right cup. They thought that they grabbed the jewels the whole time. You see how that snake grabbed hold of them? You see how that snake wrapped it, their self around them? So the whole time, I feel like they were being tricked. And the high priestess knows this. The high priestess knows that this person was manipulated and they were fascinated by jewels. So this cancer might have been like i said deceived i mean i mean but it was their own deceiving because it's what cancer took value in do you understand what i'm saying cancer took more value he thought that the money the fame the fortune the recognition i felt like someone was buying cancer's attention they were buying their attention and as soon as they selected that cup thinking it was the right thing to do because it seemed like the fortunate thing to do at that time and something else got a hold of them that they did not bargain for because like i told you cancer feels like ever since that they got in this situation it's been about a fucking misfortune a lot of it was a big karmic error and cancer knows this but something was going on in the background when cancer was not able to walk away and cancer is all about attention cancer is all about attention so the fact that cancer was not getting the attention and getting the, the uh that they needed and they weren't able to just walk away like that that high priestess is concerning to me she really is the king of swords the cancer knows that this high priestess did something to him. Didn't I just say that they say that this person put something in their cup? I could have sworn. Did I say that out loud? I don't know if I said that out loud. I know I didn't want to say it. But that's what I was just told. This high priestess knows good and goddamn well. This person was tricked. This person... The cancer knows that now. The cancer is well aware of that now. The cancer took that false crown. You see, they took that false crown. They took that shit down and they took their sword and they shoved it in the ground. So can't nobody that don't have the power of Lord Jesus himself can't lift that up. Like, I feel like whatever it was, whatever type of magic, because you got to remember that's the high priestess, bitch. Don't ever get the high priestess fucked up. And for her to be illuminated like that and for you to see that, just listen. 
I'm trying to tell you, it's not like cancer. That's not like cancer. Y'all please tell me that's not like cancer to stay in a situation where they're not getting the attention and the recognition that they deserve. That is not like cancer. Somebody did something to cancer. And cancer just told me somebody put something in this cup. This cancer has the correct crown on. They took that party city crown off and they took that bitch on you. You see how they got that eagle right there on it off? Cancer, I feel like they went searching and they found out the truth of what really fucking happened and why they were not. I feel like someone was fucking with Cancer's free will. Somebody did something that was fucking with, Frank, with Cancer's free will. They feel like... They, Okay, the king, I mean the six, the six of, of fucking coins. Cancer, like I said, they barely have any money to themselves right now. They're having to give, to give, to give to so many people. They don't have any problem giving to people, but um, I feel like the way that they got coerced into having to do that, it's like I really do feel like, no, I'm serious, y'all. I'm serious because this cancer cut their losses and just walked away whatever that they can grab and you understand what I'm saying like this is a card of being patient waiting waiting for you know to be able to harvest all of their fruits this person stayed there and planted all of these seeds to walk away with one fucking pinnacle you see how he left that shit in a mess and shit like that like this piss this person rolled out in a hurry this person rolled out in a hurry. This person paid their taxes. They paid. This is someone paying taxes, cutting their losses, and dipping out. This is someone. Like I said, didn't I say up there it was someone leaving? They were taking whatever the big pieces of furniture is. Like whatever they bought into the situation, they're cutting that shit out and they're walking away. The magician in reverse. They go to magician in reverse. Like I told you, somebody did something to this cancer. This cancer knows that. Like I told you, this cancer. Cancers are nosy motherfuckers anyway. They gonna find out shit. Know that. Any water sign is like that. This cancer went searching and they found out some information. They found out that this motherfucker was doing some fucking magic on them. And did something to fuck with their goddamn free will. And they realized, like, listen, let me pay my way to fuck up out of this shit. I done already got myself... Mixed up with you where we got this child and just, you know what I'm saying? Something happened. Cancer found out something about this person. And they cut their losses. They left all of that shit. Look at all of this shit that they left behind. Like, they left this shit in a disarray. Like, this person might have hurried up and packed their shit and dipped the fuck out. Like, and dipped the fuck out. They might have left some money on the dresser to pay their taxes. And cut they shit and dip the fuck out. Because they're like, this person is putting shit in my food. Like, they're doing something to me. They're doing something to me. And not only that, these motherfuckers was fighting every day. They were fighting every motherfucking day. Every time this cancer talks to this person, it's a fucking fight. If it's not a fight on the phone or something like that, it is literally like a physical battle. And I also want to say that this person that they're dealing with fights with everyone in their family. Like, they don't get along with any fucking body in their family. Like, this person is wreaking havoc in their life. You understand? And I really do feel like this person fighting. I don't know if this person got into a physical fight with this person's mother or this person. Somebody in their family or someone that was real close with them. And cancer just fucking had it. I feel like that was the break the break of it and like cancer use that shit as an excuse to be like all right i'm good i'm walking i'm walking you don't even get along with my family like what the fuck am, why why am i gonna stay here and keep fucking with you lord jesus give me guidance in in regards to this situation like i told you the break in the dawn the break in the dawn i feel like there was a big physical fight there was something that happened what happened Give me guidance in, in regards to what's coming for my cancers in August. Thank you so much. Oh, mask off, nigga. Fuck it, mask off. Cancer's taking that mask off. And it's like, motherfucker, if you ain't seen the real me, I'm about to show it to you. Because I'm about to stop playing with you right here. They're not, like, cancer is just like, 
they're walking away from this commitment. They're not going to sit here and continue wearing this mask like they want to be here. Like something happened in the springtime. Something happened in the spring. They returned back to this person last spring. I feel like they might have broke up and got back together and broke up and got back together. I feel like there's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth. Um, I feel like this person, I feel like, I feel like Cancer was, mar was wearing a mask this whole time. I feel like this, they broke up with each other and they got back together like this past spring because this person asked for them to come back and cancer did but cancer came back wearing a mask not really wanting to commit themselves to them i feel like cancer was wearing a mask the whole time because i feel like this person had them by the balls because of this baby of this baby and i it's cheaper to keep her that's what i just heard it's cheaper to keep her like this person was wearing this mask this whole time and went ahead and returned back to this person because they felt like they didn't have no choice but to they had to work the situation out what is this yeah this was not a part of their big dreams i really don't feel like this was a part of their big dreams they feel like this person is a mirror to their negative energy i feel like it was karma like this this situation happened in the way all of this shit right here this shit was karma because of what this person did to them this person mirrored exactly what the cancer did to this person with this person this person mirrored this energy and did that to the cancer with this person there's fear there's fear like i'm trying to tell you cancer is scared of this person well no cancer said the answer like the answer is no like they're not scared of this person but at the same time there is some type of fear there is some type of fear there is some type of fear the cancer is like no i'm not scared of this person yes you are stop lying this situation isn't ascending and i feel like cancer isn't ascending as long as they stay in this boat with this person here and that's why they want to move the situation is dry the situation is dry but the cancer is trying to say that they're not scared yes they are listen cancer is trying to reinvent themselves, but they can't do it if the you can't say that you're not scared if you don't even want to show your face to this person it's like you want to move away and reinvent yourself and you want this person to not be able to find you because you did this person feels like if they get their hands on them this can't say scared of this person. I don't give a fuck what you saying. Yeah, the message is received. Thank you. Stop playing with me. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Can't is ending a cycle with this person. Can't say fucking scared of this person. They regret getting with this person. It's a deep regret. It's a deep regret. Like, a deep regret. Only reason why they went and dealt with this person is because they were operating out of their prior and ego. That was it. They were operating out of their pride and their motherfucking ego, bitch. Let's get some additional guidance, you guys. And then we have body. What's the outcome? What's the outcome to this situation? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Oh, sever. They're severing the situation. And I'm trying to, I said this before, like, cancer does not feel like this is their baby. This woman was cheating on them with someone at work. They're severing this person because this, cancer says, this is not my fucking baby. <laughs> I'm going, you see how the, the luck card jumped all the way over there? They want to be so fucking far away from this person because they feel like the more and more that they deal with this person, that their luck is fading. They feel like ever since they walked into this person's life, that this person has been nothing but bad luck for them. And the only reason why they dealt with them is because they were being greedy. They were working out of their pride and ego. But cancer doesn't feel like this is their child. A pearl, hidden knowledge. They have a hidden knowledge. I'm trying to tell you, cancer knows something. They know something because they 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 know that this ain't their motherfucking child. A flame, a, a flame is burning eternally. But who? What's going on?
They go into shelter where flame burns internally. They have a safe umbrella. I feel like this person. Give me guidance. They feel like they have a safe umbrella, a shelter that they know that they can go to. Someone that will always protect them. 11-11. Their soulmate. Their twin. Their spiritual awakening. I feel like the cancer is awakening now. And they're on the right path. That's why they're journeying. They're going back home. They should have never they should have never left their fucking home to be fucking again with. Listen, they did they did all this shit because it was all a big mystery. They wanted to, they were curious. They wanted to go down this rabbit hole. Hmm. What you learn? What is this? Listen, the table. They just want to put everything out on the table. I really think that they just want to put everything out on the table. And I really do feel like that's what they're going to go to this woman and tell them about. They want to tell them the situation about this baby. Yeah, jealousy. Jealousy. I feel like there might have been some type of jealousy here. What would you be jealous about, Cancer? I feel like that's really... Okay. Let me do this and we done. But at the bottom of the deck is the enchanted card. The person that Cancer really... The Cancer is enchanted with someone from their past. And one thing I'm going to tell you is... I feel like there was a level of jealousy. Because I feel like on the work front... That... Cancer wasn't able to necessarily provide. It's, it has a lot to do with cancer being able to provide financially. Cancer feels like the line of service that they did it just wasn't bringing in enough income. You know what I'm saying? That they weren't able to serve a purpose for this woman the way that they needed to. And they felt like it was just easier if they went over here and went over here. Because they were curious as to what was going on over here. And it turned into a complete nightmare right now they are ready to step up in that role but it's just like their money is still fucked up like cancer's money is still fucked up and number one they never showed loyalty like it's like they weren't loyal and i think cancer does have a problem with commitment and loyalty do you understand what i'm saying the problem that they have a the fact that they have a problem with commitment and loyalty it just it takes the sweetness out of everything that they're doing. This one, one, one. It says you are the magical creator of your thoughts and beginnings to manifestation. Cancer, if you want something better, stop saying that I have commitment issues. Stop saying that I'm not loyal. Stop telling yourself that in your head. The more and more you tell yourself that in your head, that you have commitment issues, that you have issues like that, you're never going to change. Your thoughts are magical creations. You have to, if you want better, you have to think of yourself better. And you have to do better. These are hardships that you're going through in your life. But through these hardships, blossoms, beautiful flowers, beautiful rare fruits that wouldn't have happened no place else. You understand? You understand? You're growing beautifully. Not only are you more confident, you're more successful, you're more happy, you're more optimistic. Because even though you say you wasn't scared of this bitch, you scared of this bitch. Because you had to figure out why the fuck Because everyone kept saying, like, you not acting yourself. Somebody had you under a fucking spell. And your ass, you weren't able to, like, willingly on your own complete th that cycle. Like, someone was fucking with your free will. This person, like, almost forced you to make a promise to them because they were fucking with your free will but number one you've always had the memories in the back of your head of your past do you understand what i'm saying and i feel like that's why this person used their magic the way that they did because they knew that they could not 
they could not overshadow or overpower those memories and no matter what the magic that they did it still didn't work like you still going back to the person in your past you know that you're not innocent you know you coming back dirty but at the end of the day you know you're not allowing this filth to cling itself to you you cut it you cut it out do you understand what i'm saying you weren't able to see the shit was smoky the shit was cloudy you weren't able to have a clear vision you understand but the father god protect you the father god protected you and not only that but every motherfucker body else that thought that you were acting weird was praying protection over you as well because that shit was not love baby that shit was not motherfucking love and this is confirmation this is a chilling confirmation your ass was getting whooped spiritually by a motherfucking listen by an evil magician do you understand what I'm saying? 444. It says your hard work and determination is creating blessings, foundations for the future. Continue to work hard, Cancer. Listen, you're trying to get out of this gray area, Cancer. It says that you've been depressed, detached, and unemotional. You are ready to get your life back. You're tired of that shit. Listen, you want your serenity, your tranquility, and your peace back. You haven't felt that in a minute because of this situation. And that's why... You are moving where you don't want this person to find you. 666, you feel like this person was a negative omen, but you're looking at this shit in a positive way. You are raising your vibration and you are choosing peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. You're not telling yourself that you have problems with being committed because at the end of the day, you are spiritually aligned. It's a specific name that every time it's like a name. You can walk up and down the street. You see it on billboards you see it on tv you see this name every fucking where that you go everywhere that you go and you are your energy is aligned there do you understand listen this was all a part of a cosmic plan but you didn't see it you didn't see it. a lot of this shit that you went through was a lot of your own doing because of your own karmic debt that you have created yourself. Like you really created this web of confusion. And this was all a part of a cosmic plan. But at the end of the day, you had to go through this hardship for you to grow. Because there wasn't other way your ass wasn't going to learn. Your ass wasn't learn. Listen, these rainstorms is over. This you feeling melancholy, you feeling drab, you feeling unenthusiastic about things, like you just feeling down on yourself. That shit is done, that shit is over with. Last spread and we up out of here, Cancer. I know that this is long, but this was a very interesting read. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Oh, and before I do that, let me give you a love, love oracle card. Give me guidance for love, okay? It says forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. But life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. You got to forgive yourself, baby. I need you to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. And others will forgive you too. It looks like you're going back and you're asking for forgiveness. And you're going back and you're being honest. And you're pouring your heart out. And you're telling the truth. Only thing you can do is stop focusing on the past and focus on forgiveness. And if you want this, picture in your mind this person forgiving you. Picture in your mind you going back to this person and you telling them, listen, whoop, 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 whoop. Picturing this person forgiving you. See those angel wings and those protections over you. And you never know, your positive thoughts could manifest a beautiful reality. If you forgive yourself, and maybe others will forgive you too. What does it say? It says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Go and pull your heart out. See what happens. Go pull your heart out see what happens because i really do feel like the person this one right here she ain't never give a fuck about your money to begin with you gave a fuck about money you gave a fuck you were the one you were the one operating out of your pride and ego this person never gave a fuck about your money and you knew that this person loved you rich or poor good health bad health and y'all wasn't even married 
Y'all weren't even married. Hmm. All right. Lord Jesus, this is this is most definitely been the longest probably fucker reading. But and another thing that I just got, I just seen, it's like this person still holds your heart and it was peace. Like I really do feel like your relationship with this person, it was peaceful. It was no reason for you to leave this shit. The five of coins, like your hardship is over. Like your financial struggle and all that stuff, it's it's those hard days are over. You are coming out of that. I need you to believe that and receive that. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are, looks like you're ending this situation with this unrequited love. You know that you are stuck in an unrequited love situation. You felt shut out. You understand what I'm saying? And now you're being let back in the new blessings. And it looks like, and it looks like this nine of swords right here. Oh no, hold on. Let me put this all out so I can make sure I'm reading this right. Two of Cups. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. I told y'all. Listen, Cancer, fix your thinking. If you tell yourself, look, I'm going to go back to this person. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to pour my heart out. I'm going to be truthful. And this person is going to receive me and everything is going to be better. I'm going to be honest about my financial situation. Like, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really do feel like if you believe it, you can receive it, you guys. You guys are going to go back to this person that you know good and goddamn well that you broke this person's heart. You broke this person's heart. You're going to go back to this person and you're going to see if this person will let you back in. Okay? Because this person has shut you out. You're going to see if this person will let you back in and see if this person still has this unrequited love for you. This shit has been a complete fucking nightmare for you. And I feel like you have most definitely been stalking and been researching. And you guys have been being a spy for sure. You guys have been trying to figure out how to play your cards right and, and all this shit. Because this is chess, not checkers. You've been searching and trying to figure out after all that I've done. Do I have a chance to be let in out in the cold? Does this person still not love me? Let me look in and see a little deeper. Like this shit is driving me crazy. It's like a fucking nightmare. I go to bed every night thinking about this. Do you understand what I'm saying? This temperance in reverse. This temperance card in reverse. I feel like this cancer has been all balanced. And they've been drinking. Look, at, look, been drinking, been smoking, been doing all type of shit. It, it, this shit has been a complete nightmare. They feel like the fool. They should have never left. They feel like a fucking fool. But at the end of the day, like they're following their faith right now. What the fuck is this noise? Anyway, they feel like a fool. And they're following their faith right now. And their heart and their mind is trying to tell them to move forward. To move forward. <laughs> to move forward to this person that they broke. This is the person that they know don't love them. Like they... They know in Cancer's mind, they know that this person does not love me no more. But I'm going to be a fool and I'm going to go to this person anyway because I still love them. The four coins, okay? They know that this person, they're going to be a fool and they're still making their journey towards this person anyway. And they know good and goddamn well with this two of cups and with this four of coins right here that this person is probably not going to express love to them and they're going to hold themselves back from them but at the end of the day cancer is willing to go and face their judgment they're really going honestly and they're going to face their ju their judgment and they're honestly going to face their karma you know what i'm saying i feel like they've dealt with enough karma it's like shit what the fuck else can happen? You know what I'm saying? That person gonna tell me no? I mean, shit. I just, I just gotta accept no. But it looks like you gonna get the acceptance and the award that you were waiting for. You gonna get the recognition. You gonna get the praise. And it looks like you gonna be the honor crown king. <laughs> and breaking the dawn. The hard times is over. This has been a hard fucking journey for you, Cancer. This has been a hard fucking journey, but I really pray to God that y'all have learned y'all lesson. 
and I'm, I'm hoping that y'all can go and fix this and that this person will receive you but this cancer they feel this person doesn't love me this person doesn't love me but you're going back you're most definitely going back home like I told you you're going back home so cancer this has been your reading Ugh, this has been a lot baby Number 10, you closing that chapter. You going back home. I love y'all. Peace.